Hello guys, this is MotorFinprintInfotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 14267. This is actually the first preview that we're, uh, that we're seeing that it has uh, some uh, features and visual changes and that we're, that we're going to be seeing on the uh, Redstone update that might be releasing later this year. So there is some, there is not too many changes but there are some subtle improvements that are, that are good to um, to point out on this bell so let's uh, let's get right into the uh, into the new changes um, the first thing we're going to see now is when we open Cortana we have a new um, icon uh, music icon that when when you click that you allow Cortana to listen to the music and identify the song name uh, name of the album and, and name of the band uh, once you do this search, it will be will be listed. The other songs that identify will be listed under your uh, music searches. And when you click that search, it will open the um, uh, the store, so you can buy the uh, uh, the song or purchase the album or listen the uh, song for free if you have a subscription. So that's pretty much what's going on on Cortana. And Microsoft is now also adding some tweaks on the Microsoft Edge browser and that's happening on the uh, favorites bar um, now you can actually if you have enabled the uh, the bar you can right click and now we have a new options that it says uh, show icons only so that allows you to like you know get more space on the uh, uh, on the bar and and another thing you can do you know you can always you know right click and and click the uh, show names and icons to get that back you can actually uh, create new folders and you can rename it anything you want and you can actually rename the uh, uh, your links uh, as well right here so let's, see, let's just make that change and as you can see now uh, it's more flexible now we can do more stuff uh, these are kind of changes that it should have been from the beginning but Microsoft is adding them now and you've seen those on Internet Explorer and other web browsers and now we're seeing them on, on, the, uh, on the Edge browser which is really nice uh, to have that option those options um, another change that Microsoft is including on, on this new version of uh, Microsoft Edge is the ability that when you close the browser to clear your data and to do that we go to the, uh, to the menu and then we go to settings and then under uh, clear browsing data we uh, we click the uh, choose what to clear and of course you need to select what you want to clear when you close uh, the browser and this option is disabled by default but you can just come here and 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 turn and turn on the option always clear this when I close the browser and every time now every time that you close the browser it will clear the uh, data for you uh, another problem that it's been going on is um, a lot of uh, users has been requesting uh, the ability to when you try to download a, a file not to download automatically but to have a prompt to choose where to save the file uh, and not just automatically download uh, uh, the file. Let me see if I can show you now that we have a prompt. That option is also disabled by default, but we can go to settings, and then we have uh, the new download settings. And always ask me where to download the uh, where to download the files. So you have to turn that on. And now let me see if I can just go somewhere let's just try to um, download a file um, let's go to um, download Windows 10 ISO file for Microsoft let's see if I, we can do this so let's see we're just going to download the uh, the tool for uh, to upgrade to Windows 10, and so you can see that now we get the prompt. It's not downloading automatically, so we can actually now save it or choose uh, the location by uh, uh, by clicking the save as. Let me see if that pops up. Well, it just 
it's taking its time but it works um, I tried it before and and this is a pre-release so things might not work as expected and let me see if I click that it just I think it's just the computer not uh, working really well but trust me you can click save as and just choose where you want to uh, save the file another thing that uh, Microsoft is including on this bill let me close the uh, Microsoft Edge it's on messaging now the messaging app now allows you to attach uh, um, uh, photos and your location so now if you click um, when you try to compose when when you're composing a message you can click the uh, the paper clip button and you can add a, a photo uh, from your albums or you can actually allow the camera to take a picture from the webcam and post it on your and include that on your on your message and just send it out also you can click my uh, my location that will actually uh, create a big map uh, with the look uh, with your physical location so you can send to other people up to here there's all the uh, changes in Microsoft uh, has announced on bill 14267 but there there are also a few other changes uh, that we can see on on the settings app now we open the settings app and we go to system and then we go to power and sleep we're going to see now that we have a new option and that it's actually a link um, before we only have the uh, um, the ability to control uh, your, um, the timers uh, for the uh, sleep and, and the screen but because when you have the lock screen um, slideshow plane uh, these settings won't apply so you need to go and change those settings in order for this to work so now we have uh, this link right here that it, when we click it, it, it will take us to the uh, lock screen uh, settings so you can change your settings and you know you can just change it for uh, different ones so when you're on battery um, you know or or you're plugged in those settings uh, to turn off uh, the um, uh, the screen or go to sleep uh, will actually work um, let me see there is also something else that mm, has changed oh now when you go to the uh, personalization uh, settings and then we go to color colors now we have a new uh, a new picker if you will like a new with a check mark right here it makes it more clear what color you're currently using so finally there is also there's also a change, an addition on the uh, update and security, and actually that's going on on backup. And now we have a new uh, backup to OneDrive option, uh, which is also off by default. And uh, this option allows us to make a backup of the uh, settings on the start menu, uh, accounts and passwords to, to OneDrive. Uh, this backup doesn't include any of your files or programs or anything like that uh, they're just settings uh, that you can restore when you refresh your computer or you do a clean install now if we uh, click the more options uh, it will show us uh, it will show us um, the size of the backup as you see it's really small and then we also see the uh, total um, space that we have uh, that we have on on OneDrive and the last time that uh, you created the backup click the uh, backup now then it will create a backup right at that second if you made any changes and every backup that you make it will overwrite the uh, previous backup so there's always one backup it's not that you just make multiple backups and you can choose from it it's always one backup uh, the thing about this is that um, you can actually remove uh, backups uh, from the settings so you actually need to log in into uh, your OneDrive account and then as you can see right here here's my backup and you can click delete if you uh, if you want or you can remove any other backup from other devices as well so um, that's pretty much everything that's going on on this bill uh, if there is any new changes or something else I'll make sure to uh, make another video and and let you know what's uh, what's going on 
I hope this video was informative for you. I, I'd like to thank you for, for viewing and don't forget to click like or dislike and leave a comment and subscribe to the, uh, to the channel.